What is going on, y'all? Fast Sports Talk back at it with another video talking some NFL here to talk about the Chicago Bears. So if you're a Bears fan, make sure to hit that big red subscribe button down below. Make sure to follow me on all my social media platforms and guys hit the bell icon so you're notified every time I drop a new video. All right, people. So we talked about the Bears starting offense. You guys can go check that out in my recent videos. And now we're gonna go into the Bears starting defense here, and I'm gonna break down obviously the guys who are gonna be number one on the depth chart at their respective positions. So we got the draft being over, free agency over for the most part. So uh, this should be kind of the starting group, uh, you know, barring any major changes, if you will, in late free agency or training camp. All right, so we'll start here. And remember, the Bears are running that 4-3 defense now. They're switching with the new head coach that they have in Matt Eberflus. So keep that in mind here while we're talking about positions. And we start with the left defensive end position. And I'm going to also tell you guys that, uh, which spots do I feel like, okay, these are locks. The starters are, like, for the most part, it's not going to be anyone else. And then spots that are up for grabs. Left defensive end spot, this, I believe, is going to be al Kadin Muhammad from the Indianapolis Colts. So he is a guy who came over from the Colts. Again, former team of Matt Eberflu. So I believe he is going to be the guy starting at this position. Now he's got a ton of experience. Um you guys might be thinking, Fives, why not Travis Gibson? You know, he was, you know, solid last season, somewhat decent, if you will. But I just feel like Matt Eberflus is going to lean on what he knows. And, you know, Muhammad is a guy who has, you know, been solid for him. And I think he goes back to him. So I think he starts at the left defensive end position. The left defensive tackle position, um, I think it's going to be Kiris Tonga, which is, you know, a bit surprising because, again, he was a late round draft pick for us. And so we're talking about a guy being a starter at an, an, an important position. Um, it could also be Angelo Blackson, maybe him as well, more experienced. But I think it will be Kyrus Tonga. He showed some promise last season at the position, and he's a big boy. So he takes up and eats up a lot of space, which is what you need at that tackle uh, spot. All right, let's move on to the right defensive tackle. And this one is going to be Justin Jones. Now, if you guys remember... We did sign Larry Ogunjobi, but of course, he, he failed his physical, so we have to kind of sign Justin Jones in an insurance signing, if you will, just so we had somebody as a backup. So he's not a, obviously as good as Ogunjobi, but I believe he's going to be solid, and I think he's going to be a starter for uh, the Bears on their defense at that right defensive tackle spot. And then finally, finishing out the uh, front four, it's going to be Robert Quinn. That one, duh, right defensive end. Now, again, you can get into the argument about, you know, why do we still have Robert Quinn on the roster if we traded with Khalil Mack? Are we real be rebuilding? Are we not? Another discussion for another day, but he's too talented, obviously, so he's going to be a starting uh, right defensive end for the Bears. Of course, he broke the sack record for the Bears last season, so, yeah, a locked starter. All right, here we go. We got the Will, we got the Mike, we got the Sam linebacker spot. So weak side, middle, and, and strong side. So at the weak side, I think this is going to be Nicholas Morrow. We signed him in free agency. And so I believe we don't have a lot of depth at this position. So I'm not saying he's great, but he's the best that we have for now. And then the middle linebacker spot, I mean, this is a lock. This is Roquan Smith, our stud. And there's been talk about where we're going to play Roquan, whether it's strong, uh, you know, weak side. But I think he, his best spot is right in the middle uh, that that Mike spot, the middle linebacker spot. So I think I'm going to put him there, and I think that's where he's going to be for the Bears for the majority of the season, all right? And then the strong side linebacker spot, I really had issues with this one um, because I just didn't feel like we have a set starter here. I'm going to go ahead and put in Matthew Adams. We signed from the Colts. And again, going back to what Matt Eberflus knows and you know his guys from his former team. But you know I've seen depth charts that I even looked at that had Ladarius Mack here, right? Uh, younger brother of Khalil Mack. Um, you got, you know, guys in the depth chart. Like, every every depth chart I see that is, like, different names for the, um, you know, strong side linebacker spot. So I'm going to go with Matthew Adams, who, again, we signed from the Colts. I think he's going to be the guy that Ibra Flus leans on. But this one, definitely up for grabs, all right? Here we go, the left cornerback spot, and then I'll also talk about the right cornerback spot. So the left cornerback, obviously, our stud, Jalen Johnson, um, stud third-year player. I'm so used to saying rookie, but he's not a rookie anymore. He's not even a second. He's a third-year player going into the season. And then the right cornerback spot, that's going to be our rookie that we drafted with our 
first pick, the second round pick, Kyler Gordon. I believe he's a plug and play starter right away, okay? And then here we go, free safety, strong safety, and then the nickel back spot. Again, that's an extra position here. This is not all going to be starters here, but I'm just going to put that here just for the purposes of the depth chart. So at the free safety position, we got Eddie Jackson, of course, at a down season last year, but you know he's still extremely talented. And then strong safety, we got Jaquan Brisker, the rookie we drafted in the third, the second round, I believe. If I'm not mistaken, so he is also going to be a plug-in-place starter for the Bears. Uh, we pretty much picked up two starters on the defense who can come in day one and contribute. And then the nickelback um, spot, nickel cornerback spot, I think this is going to be Tavon Young, who we signed from the Baltimore Ravens. Uh, look, Young's a solid cornerback. He just has issues staying healthy. So that's the only problem. So here we go. This is, I believe, the starters for the defense. Now, let's go through real quick again and confirm who I think are pretty much locks at the position. And we'll start this side because I think, like, the cornerback, left cornerback spot, Jalen Johnson's a lock. I think Eddie Jackson's a lock. I really do think the rookies, Brisker and Kyler Gordon, are both locks. I think they will start. Um, let's go over here to the left defensive end. I think al Kadim Muhammad is a, is a lock. Uh, I'm going to say Justin Jones. I think so. Robert Quinn as well. Roquan, duh. And so these are the other spots here. Here's Tonga. I don't think he's a lock. Nicholas Morrow. Uh, again, Matthew Adams. And then maybe even Tavon Young. We don't know yet. We've got other, you know, cornerbacks as well. But for the most part, that's where we're at, people, in terms of lock starters and guys that are not. So let me know what you guys think. Agree, disagree. Leave a comment down below, as always. Thanks for watching.